my gosh this thing looks fucking cursed it looks like a um like where sid from toy story started um doing stuff with antiques oh you mean like the way he made things yeah. <laughs> okay. I thought you meant like uh, doing stuff with antiques. Oh, I'm getting ready to send you a link to a guy f fucking some toys <laughs> or antique toys. What is this? Why does the horse say dick? What? You, do you see that the horse's ass <laughs> on the top of this one says dick? It's. it's is this like a uh, like an eight ball type situation? Yes, no. See your analyst. What the fuck is this? <laughs> and the fucking price on this. It's been marked down a hundred dollars. Oh, I'm sure that will intrigue people. Twenty sixteen signed piece of art by the the Finks. Dude's signature does not help the value of this in my mind. Add a bit of whimsy to your home with this assemblage. Sculpture made of vintage pieces, vintage doll head and legs, which dangle. The legs dangle, that makes it worse. Attached to the head is a spinner of office slash work day actions. No, it's not. Yes is not an action. Neither, no, these aren't, no. This piece then holds a jockey and horse. It doesn't mention that the horse has the word dick on it for some reason. Body made of two tin canisters adorned with butterflies. Talk about one of a kind. So very unique. I know what we got to do. Oh no, this is definitely him. Oh, I shouldn't have opened this. You will now be haunted in seven days. <laughs> I hate... I guess for fans of this dude, this isn't a bad price. But why would anybody be fans of this? This is cursed. I hate this. And the longer I look at it, the more I, f I find stuff to hate. All right. This next one, I don't even understand why it's getting recommended. I think, me personally, I think it's cool as hell. Hold on. Before you go on to the next one, I gotta point out that also on the back of this cursed doll art thing, um, and being from where we are, we can't do anything about it, but say anything about it. Uh, the word Cummings is on here. It is Cummings Corporation, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And also the horse's name is Dick. So it's a Dick Cummings piece. <laughs> yeah. Which actually sounds more like, if it sounds more like the name of an artist than the Finks. <laughs> yeah. Is this all of Johnny Depp's characters in art? Not all of them, but well, like, like yeah, th three, four, four, four very icon iconic ones. I think it's really cool. All right, we got the Mad Hatter, Captain Jack, Edward Scissorhands, and w Wonka? I don't... Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's Wonka. Felt weird about that one. Oh, oh because it's his glasses from the, the TV room. Yes. I don't hate this. No, I think that it's good. And honestly, $100 is not a lot for it for something that's hand-painted. And I don't think that it's bad. For a hand-painted thing this size, I think like a, a really die-hard Johnny Depp fan would fucking eat this up. It's, um... It's marked down from $300, and I'm shocked that they couldn't sell it for that much. Probably because Facebook Marketplace is dying. Yeah. I just, I think that they did so well. I like how the orange hair from the Mad Hatter looks like it's bleeding down into the background of Edward Scissorhand. It's good. They put a lot of thought into this. I'm, yeah. I'm sad for them. I wish they had close-ups of where the piece transitions more. It looks, it's really good. I like it. Chad, you're hungry for this painting? Is that what you're saying? He's buying another one. Chad's got a message open for everything that we've looked at. Uh, <laughs> hello, this is still available. Um. <laughs> I'm going to just read the comment that was sent with this picture. I think it does a great job of explaining that I don't like the way she looks at me. I know what this one is. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to tab over and I'm going to see a plate. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that one. 
Nope. <laughs> uh... These dolls that are supposed to be standing still have dirty shoes like they've been walking places. Fuck that. <laughs> Why are they blurry? Why are some of the pic- uh, Why are so many of the pictures blurry? Haunted much? Have you clicked through all of these pictures? Multiple times. You know what year these dolls are from? 1998. One, one of them's 2002. Oh. That's Okay, I just read one. <laughs> that makes them less scary, more gross. Yeah, because like you can at least give people, like, some leeway when there wasn't the technology <laughs> to make. The full picture of her in a wedding dress is scary because it looks like she accidentally moved her head when the picture was being taken. Floor lint. For only $5. Weed buddies with stash pouch. <laughs> That's floor lint. <laughs> It's carpet. It's got. It's definitely like carpet shavings, right? This is the type of carpet that I got my braces stuck in growing up, and then I got really high. I think that you misunderstood uh, when somebody was telling you to eat carpet. <laughs> I was. I was asleep. Oh. <laughs> I feel like the whole point of having a keychain stash pouch should be to have something discreet, so nobody knows that you're just like carrying around some weed. On your keychain. All of these look like they would be used for nothing else. They just look like you're asking to be arrested because it's not legal in Virginia yet. (laughs) This one has red eyes. This one's got bloodshot eyes. (laughs) They really put a lot of thought into their carpet art. (laughs) I love this. If I was rich, I would want to have it. And I think that... Mr. Mater will also like this a lot. <laughs> a dark crystal fizz gig hand puppet. $270 rare. Kept in box. Smoke free home. Please ask questions before purchase. We'll meet with my husband in a public place. What questions are there to ask? I don't know. I wonder if it was like... Like what would, what would I get this... When, uh, what questions would I have when I've bought this already? I got home and I'm like, oh my god, how do you use a hand puppet? Uh... Only message what that mouth do. <laughs> <laughs> what that mouth do though? <laughs> hey, Chrissy said the same thing. I thought you I were just, just reading her message. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> Is the little oh. teeth at the back accurate? It's got to be right. I don't. Th- I don't know if they're meant to be at the back. Maybe they are. Let's, I mean, just look up a picture of Fizzgig. From the Dark Crystal. Such a cute, probably one of the only puppets that I don't he does, initially hate. He does, he does have throat teeth. Thir- throat teeth activate. Oh no. I've now My, found a definition though. A definition? A gating, flirty girl or woman. <laughs> is a Fizzgig or throat teeth? Uh, fizz gig. <laughs> That's great. Your Google is different from mine. I just literally, I didn't type in anything except fizz gig and just got dark crystal stuff. What oh, is, I spelled it wrong. You, okay. So it's not, <laughs> you, it's just a definition for a different word. Just, you take out one Z and it totally changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, if, uh, if so close to a granny for a situation. You're all, you're so dangerous with your searches. I ain't on my work computer. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> okay. I'm not doing a very good job at reacting to these once we look at them. This is going to affect my Facebook marketplace. It already is. I want it to. Like, I want to be able to supply stuff for this. Oh, this has a puke emoji in the actual link. How is that possible? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's I think this is real. Big. I think this is real. Mater, I need you to check out the cumbrellas on her. Halloween <laughs> decaying bright. I don't, I've never seen a, a, a URL that had an emoji in it. <laughs> right? This, I'm, I, I'm having trouble focusing on this horrific thing. 
Because I'm so interested in the URL having an emoji in it. This is a zombie sex doll, isn't it? Introducing the decaying Brad Halloween prop, standing at an eerie five and a half feet tall, this chilling figure is dressed in a once a once white wedding gown that now hangs stained with time and decay. Her gaunt face framed by disheveled golden and gray hair bears a haunting expression with hollow eyes and extreme lashes that seem to follow you. The skeletal hands clutched The lashes follow you? Yeah, the extreme lashes seem to follow you. It's just her lashes oh, moving blood. back and forth, not the eyes. <laughs> the skeletal hands clutch a wilted bouquet, completing the macabre scene. Perfect for adding a spine-tingling touch to your Halloween decor, this bride is sure to be the talk of the night, sending shivers down the spine of who dare to gaze upon her. Oh, the si- I hate that the side profile does look like she's looking at the camera still. She got a donk, though. <laughs> because of that donk? Corey, by <laughs> what that throat do, do you mean this opened gash in the throat here that is mysteriously cylindrically shaped? Mm-hmm. To quote you from earlier, exactly, exactly the way that you said it, if you can do anything that you try hard enough to make it do. Those were the exact words. <laughs> oh, next. <laughs> I don't know how rare this is. I don't know what it is. I want to know why someone's charging $75 for it. This is rare. Uh, Bum Fights was a really sketchy YouTube series where this dude would go and get homeless people and offer them minuscule amounts of money or drugs to beat the fuck out of each other for his videos. My goodness. Um, There's a lot of lawsuits around it. And it just, like, it was really popular around the time I was in high school. And then it got canceled very swiftly. It's super fucked up. But also because it was so short-lived and, like, a pretty... Mansfield's Remember Bum Fights. It was, like, a pretty, like, viral thing for, like, three or four years. So, like, there's... Probably a, a really fucked up demand for it. This is specifically Bum Fights 3, which means nothing to me. But I not wonder it. if it's more or less rare than 1 and 2. I don't know. I feel like this is probably towards the end of the run. I would say this dude was way, way worse than Jackass or Ban. Because this, huh. what this ended up being is basically like abuse and unpaid labor. So he was basically enslaving a group of addicts to exploit for his uh, horrible YouTube content. I don't understand why Allison didn't buy this immediately. Maybe it's because she doesn't have the correct license to drive it. I can't really tell what it is. It's a 2001 Chrysler PT Cruiser. Are you sure? Uh, Yeah, it's uh, definitely that's what it says it is. What else would it be? It's at least part of one. It could also potentially just be a PT converted to a trike. <laughs> Le- legally, street legally, it is a 2001 Chrysler PT Cruiser. Uh, part Jeep, part, um, what's it called? Is this the spider, the Can-Am, the Can-Am thing where it's uh, one wheel in the back, two in the front? I think so. A little bit of damage to the seats. Smidge. That's just your normal average wear and tear, I think. Yeah, the the inside is what I would expect a PT Cruiser to look like if it didn't have a roof or doors. That's not it doesn't seem like in bad condition overall for you know not having a roof or doors. We've seen worse deals tonight. <laughs> Yeah, this is way better than the that uh, Tahoe. I don't. This is fine if this runs. Let's see, let's see what they do. PT Cruiser converted to trike has assembled motor title. Comes with car cover, new battery, fun to drive, three thousand or best offer. This is this is a great deal. 
171. It's got under 200,000 miles for $3,000. You can't do better than that in the car market. Uh, This next thing, I can't. It just seems like wood pallets to me with a tarp over it. But you let me know. Um, That there is a wrestling ring made out of wood pallets and a tarp. <laughs> That's pretty much what they were. They're just like loosely cobbled together pallets to give it a little bit of bounce. Usually like uh, maybe some bungees under there. Um, and then the but there's... This one specifically says needs padding and an X cable. So it seems like it's just pallets. <laughs> yeah, it's a broken wrestling ring, but... Th- you got the, the most of the most the ropes and the turnbuckles are going to be the hardest thing to get intact. Um, okay, nice. and you need the cable in the bottom. The X cable is going to keep the ring from like breaking in half, or you take it off if you want to do something dramatic and break your ring in half. Yeah, I think this is just a legitimate picture of of some backyard wrestling. Yeah, I feel like this guy is probably he's he's elevated his game and he's selling like his home backyard wrestling ring that he started out with. But like nobody's gonna buy it. Okay, so it's you purchase a hassle. You purchase that wrestling ring and then you purchase this to go with it to like decorate inside the wrestling ring. There's even a picture for reference. I think that mostly these super fragile candles need another home. They're not safe. This is another eight, nine points for creativity. It's making you feel sympathetic for the porcelain candles. They all smell like crayons. <laughs> I've got That's a bunch of porcelain that. candles. That's right. I said porcelain. What's that? You don't know what porcelain means? Me either. It means toilets. These are toilet candles. They're made out of toilet. Um, but it's provocative and mysterious. An older woman love it. Just one of them. There's an older woman who love porcelain candles. They all smell like crayons. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to just collect them. I think lighting them is equivalent to farting in church. It's socially frowned upon. Plus, I think the sun would explode or something crazy bad would happen. I feel like you you do you get it's not decoration. You create a special wrestling r- match around the porcelain candles, where the first person to get body slammed through porcelain candles is is the loser. Pocket porta potty. <laughs> they do all kind of look like flashlight shaped, don't they? <laughs> they also. All the ones that have flowers on the top of them look like the flowers are wilting. Uh, the, the next link that I sent to you uh, was a special recommendation for you in hoping to improve maybe like your work life, just sitting in general. Came with the, the note, I know you need this. The person who had this didn't even need it, apparently. They didn't end up using it. Very soft, removable cover that can be hand-washed. And pillow is very soft also. Great for after baby. Cash-only porch pickup in Mechanicsville. Um, This would have been very needed by pre-Bidet Jacob. I don't know what it is, but post-Bidet Jacob doesn't have the same amount of hemorrhoid and... uh rectal issues haha <laughs> everyone this was actually <laughs> an ad for ludwig swipe bidet <laughs> yeah i was just gonna say this is actually advertisement <laughs> this yeah, yeah. video has been sponsored by bidet just yeah. what you, you thing have, in general <laughs> what you actually said out loud was haha surprise everybody this has actually been a video and i was like that was clear from the start um, <laughs> okay the next thing i sent you is not weird but it's really bad advertisement for the first picture. It's, well, maybe it's good advertisement. It's eye-catching. Oh! I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I, I've, I've, I've resisted the urge to click away. It's, I don't think it's bad advertisement. I don't, I wish it wasn't the first picture. <laughs> I think this, the last picture should be the first picture. It's, it's unsettling. But I guarantee it makes people click on it. So it probably was actually a good idea. 
You know what will make people click on the ohms? <laughs> Removable fire pan, adjustable cooking grate. Yeah, this is a great pig cooker. And I do find the value that it shows that it fits a whole pig. <laughs> I hate that it's sh it looks like a human body <laughs> in a horrible situation. I like how it says call hidden info, but this isn't Craigslist, so like there isn't like a link to reveal the hidden info. They they literally posted this on Craigslist and copied and pasted their posting. It's also a dude weed eating in the background of this this picture. Can't stop working just because <laughs> because somebody's taking a picture. All right. 